I'm confident with that change, it will be one of the safest airplanes ever to fly. The 737 MAX will be one of the safest airplanes ever to fly. And we're going to make sure the MAX is the safest airplane out there to fly. Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg making some big promises at his company's annual meeting in Chicago. It's the first time he's faced shareholders since two of Boeing's new 737 MAX planes crashed within months of one another, killing 346 people. Those incidents in Ethiopia and Indonesia led to the global grounding of the MAX plane and growing questions about safety at the world's largest commercial aircraft manufacturer. In the light of the crisis facing your company and in the interests of re-earning the trust of the flying public, have you considered resigning? Well, I think the important thing here again is we're very focused on safety and I can tell you that both of these accidents weigh heavily on us as a company. Now, I've had the privilege of working for the Boeing company for uh, 34 years and uh, we know that lives depend on what we do. We take that very, very seriously. That's not good enough for the families of the victims and their supporters who gathered outside the shareholder meeting to protest. Samia Stumo died in the Ethiopian Airlines crash and her uncle wants answers. I think it's quite clear that their sales and marketing drive was reckless and they represented the MAX as just the same as the previous 737 and they withheld a lot of information from operators. Then anyone can see that. The crisis with Boeing's 737 MAX planes has already cost the company at least a billion dollars this year. Boeing said that its core profits fell 21% in the first three months of 2019, compared with the same period last year. And it's had no new orders for the aircraft since it was grounded. Production has been reduced down from 52 planes a month to 42. Boeing is updating the software on the MAX to decrease the power of an anti-stall system called MCAS. Despite all the assurances that have been given here at this meeting, Boeing still can't predict when the MAX will be back in the skies. That's because US regulators have to first approve any updates to software and training, and then regulators across the world must do the same. And all the while, Boeing is battling multiple congressional investigations, civil lawsuits, and a possible criminal inquiry. It is a company under significant pressure fighting to regain both trust and reputation. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News in Chicago.